Beneath our cities, homes, and fields lie secrets that have the power to rewrite history. From the accidental uncovering of ancient civilizations to the discovery of artifacts that baffle the modern mind, the earth beneath us holds more mysteries than we could ever imagine. In this video, we're peeling back the layers of time to showcase findings so incredible you'll have to see them to believe. Get ready for a countdown like no other as we unveil the 20 most astonishing random historical discoveries ever. Number 20. King Richard III's Remains In an extraordinary twist of history meeting the modern day, the remains of King Richard III, one of England's most discussed monarchs, were discovered in 2012 beneath a parking lot in Leicester. This find ended a 500-year mystery regarding his final resting place. Richard III, who reigned from 1483 until his death in 1485, was the last English king to die in battle at Bosworth Field, marking the end of the Wars of the Roses. The discovery was made by archaeologists from the University of Leicester who, guided by historical records, pinpointed the location of the Grey Friars Friary, where Richard was believed to have been buried. What was once the site of the friary had become an urban parking lot over centuries. The team's excavation uncovered a skeleton with spinal abnormalities and a skull with wounds consistent with historical accounts of Richard's death. Subsequent DNA testing confirmed the skeleton's royal identity, matching mitochondrial DNA from two of Richard III's living relatives. In 2015, King Richard III was reburied with honor in Leicester Cathedral, a stone's throw from where his remains were found, closing a chapter of history that had remained open far too long. Number 19. Viking Age Artifact In 2014, in the quiet town of Galloway, located in Scotland's southwest, Derek McLennan stumbled upon an extraordinary piece of Viking Age history. While exploring the marshes with his metal detector, he discovered what is now known as the Galloway Horde. This remarkable find is considered one of the most significant Viking Age discoveries, unparalleled in its richness and variety. The Horde, over a thousand years old, showcases a diverse array of treasures that include gold, silver, crystal, a wooden Christian cross, and glass beads, totaling more than a hundred items. These artifacts, originating from various countries, tell a story of extensive Viking travels and trades, spanning from Ireland and England to as far as Asia. It is believed that the Vikings either buried this loot, perhaps to hide it, or that the site was a burial ground, though no confirming evidence like bones has been found. Under Scottish law, the finder of such treasures is entitled to a reward equivalent to their market value, estimated at about 2 million British pounds for the Galloway Harad. However, these items cannot be sold to private collectors. Recognizing the historical value of the hoard, museums in the kingdom have initiated fundraising efforts to acquire the artifacts, aiming to preserve and share this significant piece of history with the public. Number 18. 4,000-Year-Old Log Coffin In July 2018, while constructing a pond at a golf club in Tetney, Lincolnshire, England, workers made a groundbreaking discovery. They unearthed a 4,000-year-old grave, dating back to the Bronze Age, which held the remains of what is believed to be a chieftain. This wasn't just any burial. The chieftain was laid to rest in a coffin crafted from a single, large oak tree, hollowed out to create a final resting place, measuring up to three meters long and about one meter wide. The preservation of this log coffin, submerged under pond water for millennia, was remarkable, capturing the intrigue of archaeologists. What was inside the coffin was even more astonishing, the skeleton of a warrior clutching a stone axe. This axe, with its wooden handle still intact, was an extraordinary find. The survival of the wooden shaft alongside the stone blade is rare, offering a unique glimpse into the past. The presence of the axe suggests that the individual buried there held a significant position within their society, as such ornate items were not common and likely symbolized power. The pristine condition of the axe, showing little to no signs of wear, further supports the idea that it was more a symbol of status than a tool for everyday use. Additionally, traces of yew or juniper leaves found within the grave provide insights into the burial practices of the time, hinting at the ceremonial 
or possibly preservative uses of these plants in ancient funerals. Number 17. King Tutankhamun's Tomb On November 4, 1922, an incredible discovery changed everything we thought we knew about ancient Egypt. Deep in the Valley of the Kings, a determined archaeologist named Howard Carter made the find of a lifetime. Against all odds and skepticism, he found the tomb of Tutankhamun, a young pharaoh who ruled Egypt from 1332 to 1323 BCE. This discovery immediately became one of the greatest archaeological finds ever, capturing the imagination of people all around the world. But there's an intriguing twist to the story of King Tut's tomb. While Carter's discovery was unprecedented, it turns out that he wasn't the first to enter the tomb. Evidence suggested that others had found and looted it long before Carter arrived. This raised many questions. Were some of the tomb's valuable treasures already gone by the time Carter made his discovery? Or, as some wondered, did Carter take some of those treasures for himself? The mystery surrounding the tomb and what might have been taken from it before Carter's discovery has puzzled historians and archaeologists for decades. In 2016, radar scans revealed a fresh piece of evidence. These scans suggested the possibility of hidden chambers adjacent to the tomb. British Egyptologist Nicholas Reeves proposed that these chambers could contain the burial site of Queen Nefertiti, a theory that reignited interest and speculation around King Tutankhamun's tomb. Number 16. Terracotta Army In 1974, in the countryside near Xi'an, China, some local farmers stumbled upon an extraordinary piece of history that would astound the world. No one had to see this. If workers hadn't filmed this, no one would have believed it. They discovered the Terracotta Army, a vast collection of over 8,000 life-sized clay soldiers, along with 130 chariots and 670 horses. This magnificent find was meant to guard the tomb of Qin Shi Huang, China's first emperor, for eternity. Crafted with incredible detail, each soldier in this clay army is unique, with different uniforms, hairstyles, and even facial expressions, showcasing the extraordinary skill of ancient Chinese artisans. This army was built to accompany the emperor into the afterlife, reflecting a belief in its importance and the emperor's power. The level of craftsmanship and attention to detail provides us with a window into the military, cultural, and artistic practices of the time of the Qin Dynasty. For thousands of years, this army was buried and forgotten until its discovery, which is now considered one of the most important archaeological finds of the 20th century. Yet many mysteries remain. Why exactly was such an elaborate army created just for a tomb? And what techniques did they use to preserve them for so long? These unanswered questions add to the intrigue of the Terracotta Army, making it not just a significant historical discovery, but also a source of ongoing fascination and wonder about the capabilities and beliefs of ancient civilizations. Number 15. Notosaur In March 2011, an incredible discovery was made in an oil sands mine in Alberta, Canada, when a worker, operating heavy machinery, stumbled upon something far beyond the ordinary. While drilling through the oil sands, he encountered what appeared to be massive brown stones shaped eerily like ribs. But these were not just any stones. They were the ancient remains of a dinosaur. Experts were called to the scene to examine this extraordinary find, and what they uncovered was nothing short of astonishing. The fossil was identified as a notosaur, a type of herbivorous dinosaur known scientifically as Borealopelta. This discovery, made just north of Fort McMurray, left the archaeological world in awe due to the specimen's exceptional state of preservation. The notosaur, which lived approximately 110 million years ago, weighed over a ton and was covered in intricate armor plates. Its body was so remarkably well-preserved that it almost seemed mummified, offering a rare and detailed glimpse into the distant past. The level of detail was so precise that researchers could make educated guesses about the dinosaur's diet. It was revealed that this plant-eating behemoth preferred ferns and other low-lying plants, steering clear of tougher materials like wood from trees. Number 14. Sutton Hoo On the brink of World War II in 1939, a groundbreaking discovery was made at a place called Sutton Hoo in England. 
This story begins with Edith Pretty, a woman who had recently bought the Sutton Hoo estate. Little did she know, her new property housed an incredible secret. Curious about what lay beneath the earth, she hired a local archaeologist, Basil Brown, to explore. What he found was astonishing, not just any old find, but a ship burial, a grave like no other. As they dug deeper, they uncovered a massive ship buried beneath the soil, a final resting place not just for any individual but for what appeared to be a king. The grave was filled with treasures that would stun anyone. Gold coins, silver dishes, and precious stones. The Anglo-Saxon equivalent of a treasure chest. Among the findings was a helmet so elaborate and adorned with gold and garnets, it could rival the most extravagant modern fashion, complete with a face mask, proving that the idea of face masks isn't as modern as we thought. Historians believe Sutton Hoo was the burial site of the Wuffingas, the royal dynasty of East Anglia, claimed to be descendants of the god Woden. Their story is deeply entwined with Anglo-Saxon mythology and legend. However, the absence of written records leaves much of their tale to the imagination. Number 13. Medieval Irish Henge In an extraordinary twist of fate, a heat wave in Ireland revealed to the world a historical treasure previously concealed from our eyes. Anthony Murphy, an enthusiastic researcher with a passion for history, was exploring the Irish landscape with his drone when he stumbled upon something truly remarkable. Amidst a drought-dried landscape, he noticed a peculiar pattern on the ground where a pond once lay. This pattern, hidden until an unprecedented heat wave hit, turned out to be an ancient structure bearing a striking resemblance to the renowned Stonehenge. This discovery, a monumental circular henge spanning 150 meters in diameter, was initially met with skepticism. From above it seemed almost too perfect, raising doubts about its authenticity. But upon closer inspection on the ground, Murphy confirmed this was no mirage. It was a real, tangible find, estimated to be around 5,000 years old, making it a significant piece of ancient architecture. What makes this discovery stand out is not just its age, but its unique characteristics, unlike anything found before. Archaeologists and historians speculate that this henge could have been a ceremonial site, hosting gatherings for rituals with the capacity to accommodate thousands of individuals. The specific purpose of this circle remains a subject of speculation, but its discovery has opened up new avenues for understanding the social and religious practices of ancient Irish communities. Number 12. Pompeii. Pompeii was once a thriving hub of culture and luxury under the looming presence of Mount Vesuvius. This city was a favorite spot for the Roman elite, celebrated for its sophisticated lifestyle, bustling markets, and impressive amenities, including the construction of the world's first known amphitheater, even older than Rome's famous Colosseum. But in 70 AD, everything changed dramatically. On a fateful October night, Mount Vesuvius erupted with a force equivalent to 12 atomic bombs, releasing deadly gases, lava and ash, that completely wiped out Pompeii, Herculaneum, and other nearby areas. This disaster buried Pompeii under ash, hiding it away from the world for nearly 1,700 years. The rediscovery of Pompeii in the 18th century opened a unique window into ancient Roman life. One of the most heart-rending aspects of Pompeii's discovery are the plaster casts of the victims. These casts were made by filling the voids left in the ash layers by decomposed bodies. They capture the final moments of the city's residents in excruciating detail, showing families clinging together and individuals in despair. Number 11. The Sunken Ship Graveyard in the Black Sea in 2016, archaeologists made a breathtaking discovery at the bottom of the Black Sea, near Bulgaria. While initially investigating ancient water levels, they found not just one, but a stunning total of 41 shipwrecks, perfectly preserved deep underwater. This incredible find was possible due to the Black Sea's unique conditions, where the lack of oxygen at depths of about 150 meters, around 490 feet, keeps wooden structures intact, virtually frozen in time. Equipped with the latest technology, including remotely operated vehicles fitted with high-resolution cameras, 
the team was able to capture detailed 3D images of these ancient vessels. Another underwater vehicle, loaded with sophisticated scanning tools, helped map a larger area, uncovering relics from the time of the Ottoman and Byzantine empires. Despite the temptation, the decision was made not to disturb these historic treasures, but to leave them resting on the seabed. This environment offers the perfect conditions to preserve wooden ships for many years to come. Modern technology allows us to explore these underwater time capsules safely, without risking damage to their structure or the surrounding marine ecosystem. The high-quality images collected show incredible details, like mast holes and intricately engraved woodwork, harking back to the Roman and Ottoman periods. These ships have been lying undisturbed for over 2,500 years, with the special chemical makeup of the Black Sea's water helping to keep them in good condition. Additionally, the minimal light that reaches the bottom of the sea prevents marine organisms that might otherwise consume the wood from thriving, further aiding in the preservation of these ancient ships. Number 10. The Lascaux Cave Paintings In September 1940, a group of four teenagers and their dog in southwestern France stumbled upon something amazing. Near the village of Montignac, they found a hidden entrance covered by trees and bushes that led to a series of underground caves. This accidental find turned out to be the Lascaux Cave Paintings, one of the greatest discoveries of prehistoric art in the world. These caves, dating back around 17,000 years to the Upper Paleolithic period, are decorated with over 600 drawings. Inside, you'll find detailed paintings of more than 900 animals, including horses, deer, cows known as aurochs, bison, lions, and more. Each animal is drawn with incredible accuracy and movement, showing off the artist's deep understanding of these creatures. The painters used colors made from natural minerals to create a wide range of hues, blacks, yellows, reds, and even blues and greens. They skillfully applied shading and perspective, giving life to the animals on the cave walls and ceilings. Number 9 the underground city. In 1963, in the Derinkuyu district of Turkey, a man made an astonishing discovery behind a wall during home renovations, a hidden room that led to an extensive network of tunnels. This wasn't just any room, but the entrance to Derinkuyu, an ancient multi-level underground city that stretches eight levels deep and is more than 60 meters below the surface. By 1965, this vast underground settlement carved from volcanic rock, was opened to tourists, showcasing the largest cave city in Cappadocia. Derinkuyu is a true marvel of ancient engineering, equipped with ventilation shafts, water sources, and rooms designed for long-term living. It's so large that historians believe it could have housed up to 20,000 people at a time. This underground city wasn't just a series of tunnels. It was a fully functional city complete with stables, a church, and even a winery. Experts estimate that the construction of Derinkuyu started between the 8th and 7th centuries BC. Initially, its stone rooms might have been used for living and storage, but over time, Derinkuyu evolved into a refuge, a hidden fortress with defensive features like a massive stone door more than half a meter thick to protect its inhabitants from enemies. Despite being a crucial part of history, the city was eventually abandoned and its existence became a forgotten memory until its rediscovery. Even though it was found in 1963, scientists believe that only about 15% of the city has been explored, leaving much of it shrouded in mystery and hinting at the possibility of more incredible discoveries within its depths. Number 8. Skeleton with Iron Hand Prosthesis During excavations for a pipeline near the Church of St. George in Bavaria, Archaeologists stumbled upon an extraordinary find that would challenge our assumptions about the medical ingenuity of the past. They unearthed a well-preserved skeleton dating from between 1450 and 1620. Yet what set this skeleton apart wasn't its age, but the intricate metal prosthesis replacing the left hand's four missing fingers. This iron prosthesis featuring individually crafted fingers is one of the earliest examples of its kind discovered to date. The artificial limb, attached to the arm with leather straps, showcases a level of sophistication in design and functionality that suggests our ancestors were far more advanced in prosthetic technology than previously thought. 
While the exact reasons for the amputation of the man's fingers remain a mystery, the prosthesis itself provides valuable insight into the medical practices of the time. Further investigation revealed that the prosthetic hand was designed not just for utility, but also for comfort. Traces of fabric and what appears to be skin remnants suggest it was covered with a gauze-like material, likely to make it more comfortable for the wearer, who had only a thumb remaining on that hand. This discovery is part of a larger pattern of findings across Central Europe, where around 50 similar prostheses have been identified, dating back to the late medieval period. This era, known for its numerous military conflicts like the Thirty Years' War, saw many soldiers and civilians alike suffer from injuries that often resulted in amputation. The demand for prosthetic limbs would have been high, leading to significant advancements in the design and manufacture of these early aids. Number 7. The Antikythera Mechanism Discovered in 1901 in a shipwreck near the Greek island of Antikythera, the Antikythera mechanism is a fascinating piece of ancient technology that predates known inventions by over a thousand years. Dating back to around 100 BCE, this device is often celebrated as the world's first analog computer. Over 2,000 years ago, the ancient Greeks crafted a machine with more than 30 intricate bronze gears, all housed within a wooden box, demonstrating an astonishing level of engineering expertise. For a long time, the true function of this ancient machine puzzled experts. But thanks to modern scientific research and advanced imaging techniques, we now understand its purpose. The Antikythera mechanism was ingeniously designed to calculate astronomical positions, predict solar and lunar eclipses, and even determine the timing of the Olympic Games. It featured dials for the Greek zodiac and a solar calendar on one side, and a lunar calendar on the other side that could accurately forecast eclipses. Number 6. Gobekli Tepe In the rolling hills of southeastern Turkey lies Gobekli Tepe, a site that has turned our understanding of early human civilization on its head. Discovered in 1994 by German archaeologist Klaus Schmidt, this archaeological wonder predates Stonehenge by over 6,000 years pushing its origins back to around 9,600 BC. What makes Gobekli Tepe unique is not just its age, but its complexity and scale. At this site, massive stone pillars arranged in circles are carved with intricate designs of animals and abstract symbols. These pillars, some standing over five meters tall and weighing up to 10 tons, are believed to be part of the world's first known temple challenging the previously held belief that agriculture preceded organized religion in human history. Gobekli Tepe suggests that hunter-gatherer societies were capable of complex construction and spiritual practices far earlier than previously thought. The site consists of over 200 pillars in 20 circles, though only a fraction has been excavated. Each pillar is carefully crafted with reliefs of lions, bulls, boars, foxes, and other animals indicating a rich symbolic world that predates written language by millennia. Before we move on, here's today's subscriber's pick. This image presents a scene where workers going about their day find a gigantic skull resting amidst the rocks. No one had to see this. If workers hadn't filmed this, no one would have believed it. This is a discovery that takes a moment to sink in because of its sheer scale compared to the people around it. It could be a creature from the deep past, a massive puzzle piece of our planet's prehistoric life, or an incredible piece of artistry. This image of their discovery invites wonder and a rush of questions. Where did this skull come from? Is it a relic from an era when giants roamed? Or is it a modern creation, conjured from the depths of human imagination? Share your thoughts in the comments section. Number 5. Van Gogh's Hidden Self-Portrait In 2022, art enthusiasts and historians were thrilled by an incredible discovery involving one of Vincent Van Gogh's paintings. While preparing for an exhibition, experts used X-ray technology to examine Head of a Peasant Woman and uncovered a hidden gem, a self-portrait by Van Gogh that had been concealed for over a century. This portrait was found on the back of the canvas, hidden behind layers of glue and cardboard, according to the National Galleries of Scotland. Van Gogh, known for his financial struggles, often reused canvases to save money. 
Instead of painting over his previous works, he would flip the canvas and use the other side. The NGS mentioned the possibility of uncovering this self-portrait because of this practice. This isn't an isolated case of artists reusing canvases. Paul Cezanne, another post-impressionist painter, had his work undergo a similar revelation. During a routine check of Still Life with Bread and Eggs from 1865, a museum worker stumbled upon a self-portrait of Cezanne hidden beneath the painting. Number 4. The Staffordshire Hoard The Staffordshire Hoard represents an extraordinary treasure trove, unrivaled in its size and the quality of its contents, discovered in a field near Hammerwich, close to Lichfield in Staffordshire, England. This magnificent find is the largest collection of Anglo-Saxon gold and silver metalwork unearthed anywhere in the world, comprising nearly 4,000 pieces, most of which are intricately crafted items of war gear. Dating back to the 7th century, around AD 650 to 675, the hoard provides a rare glimpse into the craftsmanship and artistic skills of the time. The objects, ranging from beautifully decorated swords and helmets to exquisite pieces of jewelry, reflect the high status of their owners within Anglo-Saxon society. The craftsmanship is of such high quality that it stands out even when considering the vast number of individual items included. The hoard was found in an area that was once the heart of the Kingdom of Mercia, a key Anglo-Saxon realm. This location raises intriguing questions about the origins and the purpose of the hoard. There are many theories about why it was buried, from spoils of war, a king's ransom, to an offering to the gods or a stash hidden away from potential threats. The exact reason remains a mystery, adding to the intrigue and fascination surrounding this remarkable discovery. Number 3. Ancient Viking Sword During a leisurely walk in the mountains near the village of Haley in Telemark County, Norway, in 2015 a hiker named Olsen made an extraordinary discovery. Against all odds, he found a Viking sword that dates back around 1,200 years. This ancient weapon, measuring 77 centimeters about 30 inches in length, was in remarkable condition, showing only minor signs of rust after centuries beneath snow and cold weather. Finding such an artifact outside of a burial site is rare, suggesting that perhaps its original owner lost it in haste. This sword, missing its handle, was identified by archaeologists as originating from between 750 and 800 AD, a time that marked the start of the Viking Age, when Norse seafarers began to expand beyond their homelands. The cold climate, along with snow and low humidity, played a crucial role in preserving the sword, allowing experts a rare opportunity to study a piece of Viking history directly. This discovery has sparked interest in the area, with archaeologists eager to explore more of the region in hope of uncovering additional relics from the Viking era. Number 2. Stonehenge-like Sanctuary in Rotterdam In June 2023, a groundbreaking discovery was made in Tiel, a town in the Netherlands, where archaeologists unearthed what's now known as the Stonehenge of the Netherlands. This fascinating find, dating back 4,000 years, revealed a religious burial site with a mound 65 feet in diameter. Inside, the remains of around 60 people, including men, women, and children, were found, offering a rare glimpse into the burial practices of that era. What sets this site apart is its design, featuring several pathways that align perfectly with the sun on the winter and summer solstices. These alignments mark the longest and shortest days of the year, suggesting that the site was used for rituals or ceremonies related to the solar calendar. Such a discovery highlights the advanced understanding of astronomy and the importance of seasonal cycles to the people who built this site. Number 1. Serapium of Alexandria The Serapium of Alexandria, discovered in 1850 by French archaeologist Auguste Mariette, is an ancient marvel that might not be widely known but is incredibly fascinating. This extensive complex, sprawled over 30,000 square meters, featured towering columns and detailed carvings that highlighted the architectural grandeur of its time. What makes the Serapium stand out is its unique function as an underground burial chamber, not for people, but for bulls. These animals were revered in the worship of Serapis, 
believed by some to be key to the afterlife or simply held in high esteem. The idea of dedicating such a monumental space to bulls may seem unusual today, but it reflects the deep spiritual and cultural significance these animals held in ancient times. The construction feats of the Serapium are a testament to ancient engineering skills. It housed a network of tunnels filled with massive granite sarcophagi, each weighing over 70 tons, designed to hold the sacred bulls. The precision and scale of these structures are remarkable, demonstrating a sophisticated understanding of architecture and craftsmanship. Despite being studied for over a century, the Serapium still holds many mysteries. Researchers continue to delve into the reasons behind the elaborate burials of these bulls. Some theories suggest that the bulls were considered incarnations of the god Apis, symbolizing fertility and renewal, adding layers of meaning to their revered status. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.